So in this first video, I just want to do some planning on the general theme and what functionality we want to get out of it. So to demonstrate uh, a common issue, I have two texts in this Swift UI view. The first text uses the system semantic colors and fonts. And then the second text, I'm explicitly setting the colors and a font. And we'll see the differences when we start playing around with the environment. So if I change the appearance to dark, the system colors will change, but the uh, explicitly set colors will stay what they originally were. So in light mode, it looks fine, but when we go to dark, clearly it's not adapting how it should be. And then similarly, with accessibility, you can change the text size of your font. So if we change it to the biggest accessibility, we see that the system uh, text is adapting while our manually set stuff is not adapting. And then similarly, if we bold the text, the system will become bold, but the non-adapting text will not change at all. Um, and for contrast, that's also an accessibility feature for colors. In this case, white and black, we can't see a difference because that's already the highest contrast. But if it was other colors, we would see the colors change slightly to make them to increase the contrast. So the goal for this theme is basically to be able to adapt like the system uh, fonts and colors do. But with the theme, we're going to use custom fonts and colors and get a little bit more uh, functionality than the system provides. And then uh, I have some pseudocode here that doesn't exist yet, but it's a general idea of what we want our theme to do. So it'll be similar to the semantic colors and fonts that the Apple system uses, just in our own custom theme. So in this first example, we're using the uh, system provided modifiers for views and just accessing the colors and fonts from the theme. And then in the second example, we create some custom view modifiers that kind of streamline this process a little bit. So we don't have to even interact with the theme directly. We just have view modifiers that will do it for us. So that's the general idea for the theme. Um, and I have this other file just for planning out what we want our theme to do. So I guess the first goal would be so that our, our font sizes are dynamic. So dynamic sizing fonts. Um, we want the um, accessibility bold text for fonts. So I, the theme is going to be two parts. It's going to be fonts and then also colors. So think for fonts that's basically all we need and then are just custom fonts instead of the system because most apps aren't going to use the Apple system fonts the majority of the time you're gonna have some custom font from a designer or um, if you're making your own app you might find a cool font on the internet you want to use so our theme will be able to handle that and then for colors, we want to be able to adapt for light and dark mode. And we want to adapt for accessibility. So accessibility, high contrast. And I think that covers everything. So we got light and dark, dynamic sizing, the color contrast and bold text. Um, so that's our goals. Um, and then for maybe a general API of how we want it to look, um, I could create an example real quick. So So there's a little trick I use just to be able to play around with the API that I want to exist without having to write it out. So the protocol 
you could just write out the functions and um, play around with the API without having to actually write the functionality. So we know we want colors and fonts, so we could do uh, font to start. So we need some type of font type. For now, I'll just do a string in the actual theme. It'll be an enum. Um, and then what else do we need? We need the, the size. So content size is going to be UI content size category. Well, we're ready for what we want from Swift UI first. So it'll be content. Oh, I have to import Swift UI as well. Should be the content size category, which is basically the Swift UI equivalent of UI content size category, which will allow us to make the text bigger and smaller. And then what was the other piece of fonts? Bolding. So we'll do prefers bold text, and we'll make that an enum. Or not, you know, a boolean. So even I'll just do this real quick. So font style, we'll call it. And the first one, we'll just say title. Cool. And then our API is going to look like theme.font with the title, content size category, we'll say just for this example, accessibility medium, prefers bold font, true. So this is pretty verbose. And what we'll do is we'll have some functions that will pick up the content size and prefers bold text automatically. So that all we'll really have to do is theme.font.title and the rest will be picked up from the system settings and user preferences. So that's for font, and then for color, it'll probably be similar. We're going to want a color style or semantic color. I'm not sure what the names will be yet, but it'll be some enum with all our colors. So first one will be you know, background primary. Do style, color style. Um, what do we need for colors? We need the high contrast and whether it is light or dark mode. So we'll say is dark mode with a boolean and prefers high contrast, which is also a boolean. So for this is dark mode, there's probably a system enum, which I'm just not sure what it is right now. But we might adjust this to take that system enum instead of a boolean um, in the future. But for now, this is a rough idea. And then that will look like theme.color, background primary, is dark mode, we'll say false, false for now. And then when we streamline things, that'll turn into just theme.color.backgroundPrimary. Right now, this is not returning anything, so we need to change that. So we'll return a font and a color so that um, our views can actually get these values. What we're going to end up doing is creating our theme based on UI kit first. And the reason for that is because you could always go from UI kit to Swift UI, but you can't go from Swift UI to UI kit. So for example, if our theme only provided Swift UI font and Swift UI color, there's no way for us to turn a color into a UI color. And same with font, we can't turn into a UI font. And this is important because your app most likely is going to have to wrap UI kit elements at some point. 
And SwitchUI has the bridging protocols that allow you to do that, like UI view representable and UI view controller representable. So by creating our theme with UI kit at the base, that means we can support both UI kit and Swift UI. So in the next video, I'm going to create a module that contains the framework of our app theme. And then our app will import this framework in order to have access to the theme.